Now you may be thinking to yourself, Giff, you're a day early on this. I have a I have a very good reason for this this time. Um, now usually what I like to do with these videos is I like to release the video like after the character releases so we get a chance to get a feel for them and everything you know learn about them and see how they do this um i um i gotta i i have to i have to do this now and there's a very specific reason so gilgamesh actually drops tomorrow with his level 70 uh awakening rework and ex weapon um we're gonna we're gonna talk about what he gets. So basically, what he gets is he gets a new frame buff called Hero of the Big Bridge. I actually remember these things this time because I love Gilgamesh. Um, so he gets a new frame buff called Hero of the Big Bridge, which he when she does get from using uh, his EX weapon and his Mad Dance and Ultimate Dance. Um, it is stackable up to five stacks, and each time that you gain a stack, it lasts three turns. So at one stack, uh, it raises his attack by five percent. Reducing their damage by 10%. Two stacks, 10%. The, the, the attack reduction is going to stay the same throughout all these stacks. So two two stacks is 10%. Three stacks is uh, 20%. Three stacks is four, uh, four stacks is 30%. Five stacks is 40%. He now gains 100% crit rate at all times. So he's always hitting a critical hit. Uh, he gets a 65% damage increase to those critical hits. And his abilities will not revert back to their previous ability. So you know how after he uses Ultimate Dance and everything, uh, you have to reset up like his uh, Death Claw and Ultimate Dance to get uh, Kotetsu and... Um, what's the HP attack name? The the, the HP attack ver uh, plus version and so on and so forth. Um, those will not revert back to their previous abilities and Mad Dance will always stay Ultimate Dance, which is really, really nice. That is actually really nice. Um... Death Claw now gains two additional usages. It overflows up to 120%, and it does um, an HP attack. Um, no matter what, there's no brave requirement after the after the attack. Um, Mat Dance and Ultimate Dance um, gain higher brave damage potencies and do overflow as well. While granting one stack, one stack. I'm going to repeat that one more time. One stack of Hero of the Big Bridge. Um, his Kotetsu, which is his brave attack, will actually inflict me uh, the melee in peril for one turn, and um, his HP attack will actually inflict a speed down for three turns, which is really nice. Uh, so his, e <laughs> his EX ability is a three-hit single-target HP attack that grants three stacks of Hero of the Big Bridge at max limit break with a slightly fast recast speed no overflow and delays by one turn now you're thinking that's actually pretty that's that's nice right um yeah it's not <laughs> he had no overflow he spins like a hundred times like he spins like a hundred times and he only hits him three times it's so and i can understand the ability because like if you watch him spinning his his sword transforms to like a, the next sword like every time he does hit and whatnot. So it kind of just plays off of that. But like, it's so bad. It's so oh, it's so bad. Um, his level sixty five, um, his C level sixty five gives him a twenty percent increase to his overflow on all of his abilities. Um, while his level seventy extends that, I think to thirty or thirty percent. While giving him a Brave Regen, lasts for four turns. Uh, his C68 gives him 20% attack and max Brave uh, to himself. No no aura. So he's still, still a selfless damage dealer. Um, now, you're thinking... You're thinking to yourself. Um, now, why, why is that? Why is this a problem? Why are you doing this now? The big issue with Gilgamesh is... <laughs> He's bad. He's so, it's so, it's so, it's so bad. The big problem is, is yes, while his EX does give him three, three stacks, um, the, the hero of the big bridge only lasts for three turns. So if you're not making sure you're using mad dance and, or ultimate dance, like either your every other turn, 
you're, you're gonna lose out this buff. And while yes, you could keep it up by spamming Death Claw and his other abilities just to keep his uh, a, uh his EX going, like you only have so many uses of Death Claw, which even if it did get two additional uses as uh, as of his rework, like you're you're still trying to blitz through Gilgamesh's abilities just to keep him at max potential. So. Even though he has an HP attack plus, uh, pretty much an HP attack plus and a brave attack plus to further increase his longevity, you're still trying to blitz through Gilgamesh's, uh, Gilgamesh's stuff in order to keep his, um, in order to keep him at his max potential, which is not good. It's not good. Not, not to mention too, there was no, there were no increases to like the hits that he does. All he did was get brave damage potency increases, which is nice and all. But the overflow is very minimal. In order to get like the max amount of overflow, uh, which is 150%, you have to use a C level 65. And if you use that at the wrong time, you're losing Hero of the Big Bridge because it only lasts for three turns. And by using a C65, they lose the buff for the turn because they're taking a turn. Uh, they're taking a turn to use that. So if you use it at the wrong time, you just lost five stacks of Hero of the Big Bridge. Um, not to mention, he's still not doing any crazy damage. Like we we have characters who could do what he does far better, and by by far he has one of the he he's tied for Terra with the worst EX weapon in the game. Sure, the delay is nice, uh, but there's no overflow on the ability, and the only thing that you're really gaining out of it is the the stacks of the hero of the big bridge. It's not he doesn't even have any gravity effect. Um, like he is known for having uh, in in his EX ability, it's just three base hits that doesn't overflow, and you're you're wasting you're you're just kind of wasting your effort just trying to keep this man at his max potential. I I love Gilgamesh, so it's hurting my soul so much, so so much to say this, but there are just characters in this game where I feel like. Like, they just don't care enough about, but they know the fan base likes them. And I feel like Gilgamesh was one of these characters. Now, Gilgamesh does return in the future alongside of X-Death. Um, with his, with his EX+. Plus, um, which makes him vastly better. Like, Gilgamesh gets much better. Like, he does. He gets so much better. He, get, he can get so much more stacks of Hero of the Big Bridge. It's extended to, like, five turns, I believe. Uh, his EX actually does multiple fucking hits. You know, he's spinning around th th thousands of times, you know, and he's actually doing damage for the amount of times that he's actually spinning around. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> but as it stands now, the thing is, is like, I will stand by what I said. Every character that comes out this month will, ma will handle Cosmos like it's a joke. And Gilgamesh can still do that. He still, I still believe for Co at least Cosmos... That he's still putting out enough damage, uh, damage to make the rest of Cosmos a cakewalk. Um, but the problem is, is literally a month from now, like he's just gonna go right back on the bench that he's been sitting on from his very first release. Even when Gilgamesh was first released in the level 60 era, he wasn't that great. Like we had Squall who did everything he did better. And even now, as he's get, as he's released, hell, Squall is still doing what he does better. Like, Squall is unfortunately still doing what he does better. Like, he is still outshined by Squall. And that won't change until his EX Plus comes out. When he does get much better. And he actually works in a manner of his own where you can actually differentiate him from Squall. Um, and I, I, I love that. So, as much as I love Gilgamesh, no. Yeah, absolutely not. This is the most easily skippable banner of this entire month. I, of these past few months, as a matter of fact. If you love Gilgamesh, if you absolutely love Gilgamesh, please, by all means, pull for him. You know, you will get your uses out of him. He does have use. It's just as soon as Chaos hits, he's going to go right back on that bench. So, I'm going to say absolutely not right now. It's a no-go for me. It, this ban this banner is an easy pass because who else is on the banner? Bart's at Hope. Um, Bart isn't returning with his EX weapon, and Bart's is he's a little outdated at this point. You can use him, 
But he's a little outdated, you know. He got his his rework relatively early, and Bart still has his uses because he has crazy good longevity. He has honestly one of I would say the, probably the best reworks in the game. And then Hope is on the banner, and Hope is pretty much mediocre until his EX Plus drops alongside a Lightning in the future. Um, so yeah, um, it's a no go on Gilgamesh. If you want to pull for Gilgamesh, by all means do so now. If you're going to wait like I am uh, and pull for him at a better time, because the best time to pull for him is when his EX Plus comes back alongside X Death, that is when Gilgamesh will be very, very much worth it to pull. And X Death himself is actually really insanely good. He has a lot of AoE, uh, a lot of AoE uh, HP 100% damage, which makes him incredible for dual bosses, and he has some crazy debuffs along with that so yeah i'm sorry gilgamesh i love you dude i do but it's a no it's a it's a big no and i'm putting this video out here now to let the population know all the five people who watch my channel uh <laughs> i'm letting letting you guys know early now it's a no 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 don't do it don't do it right now if you do pull god bless you god bless your heart <laughs> i wish you luck and i hope you do pull him but save, 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 save. We have plenty of other better characters coming this month. And right now, like I said yesterday and on my last video, it's crucial to be saving right now. And I don't think Gilgamesh is what you want to spend on. But that'll do it for now, guys. Um, thanks for watching my, uh, my super early video on Gilgamesh. Basically yelling at you guys to not do it. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one.